This video is part of a series of videos that guide you through the steps to prepare and paint your pool with Luxapool Epoxy Pool Paint. In this video, we will show you how to test if your pool has an epoxy coating. This is the first step in preparing to repaint your pool that has been previously painted with an epoxy pool paint. Empty your pool and allow to dry. Dampen a rag with acetone and then rub the dry surface for about 30 seconds. As soon as you remove the rag, rub your finger or fingernail over the area. This pool has an epoxy coating and is not affected by this test. If the surface is sticky or tacky, like the back of a post-it note, or a thread of paint is lifted off the surface as you run your fingernail over it, it is not an epoxy and may be a chlorinated rubber coating. Contact Colormake Industries before proceeding any further. This video is part of a series of videos that guide you through the steps to prepare and paint your pool with Luxpool Epoxy Pool Paint. In this video, we will show you how to wash your pool with Luxpool Concentrated Wash. When preparing a pool previously painted with an epoxy, there can be up to five types of washes involved. Each type of wash has a specific purpose and no wash replaces any other wash. If your pool is green from algae or organic buildup, Drain the pool and wash first with chlorine. This will kill any algae and remove it from the surface. Failure to perform this step will compromise the quality of the starting surface and require a lot more chemicals in subsequent washes. If you have maintained your pool water in good condition prior to draining and there is no algal growth, then you can skip this step. Consult with Colormaker Industries for further advice. The purpose of washing the pool with Luxapool Concentrated Wash is to remove the suntan lotion, makeup, body fats and other oily residues. Focus especially on areas just below the tile line and horizontal surfaces, most heavily exposed to body contact. These would include steps, the floor area near steps and particularly the shallow end of the pool and love seats and swim outs. Failure to remove body fats will result in the acid etch wash not being able to cut through and oils being ground into the surface during the abrasion phase resulting in loss of adhesion. Begin by sweeping up leaf litter, sand and other debris. Rinse the pool surface with water to remove fine dirt and sand. Pump out pooled water. Remove caps, light and other fittings. Before you begin the concentrator wash, you will need a stiff brush or broom, 500ml of Luxapool concentrator wash and two 10 litre buckets of warm water. Wear non-slip sold footwear as the surface becomes very slippery during the wash. Start by diluting the 500ml Luxapool concentrator wash with 20 litres of water. This will give you enough diluted concentrator wash to clean a standard domestic pool. Scrub the whole pool surface with a diluted Luxapool concentrated wash. Pay particular attention to step areas, scum lines, corners and steps where oily deposits can accumulate. Not removing oily deposits prior to abrasion may lead to fats and oils being smeared into the surface during abrasion. This could lead to loss of adhesion and major flaking within months of application. When finished, thoroughly rinse the pool with clean water to remove all traces of Luxapool concentrated wash. Do not allow the concentrated wash solution to dry before rinsing with water. On warm dry days, it is preferable to work on small areas at a time. Rinse off and then move on to the next section.
Pump out and allow to dry thoroughly. Chemically treated water must be discharged into sewer lines, not into the stormwater outlet. If in doubt, always discharge waste water through sewer lines. This video is part of a series of videos that guide you through the steps to prepare and paint your pool with Luxapool epoxy pool paint. In this video, we will show you how to repair small cracks in cement pools with Luxapool structural epoxy filler. Before you begin, ensure the pool surface has been cleaned with Luxapool concentrated wash. You will need three spatulas. Use one only for Luxapool structural epoxy filler part A and one only for part B. Use the third spatula for mixing and avoid cross-contamination. A clean plastic or metal can to mix the Luxapool Structural Epoxy Filler Parts A and B. Luxapool Structural Epoxy Filler Part A and Part B, 20 to 40 grit sandpaper and an angle grinder and masonry cutting disc. Protective clothing including gloves, dust mask, safety glasses, earmuffs, safety boots and hat and read the instructions on the can. Inspect the surface of the pool for cracks and divots. A small divot has a depth of less than 10 mm deep and a small crack has a width of less than 5 mm wide. Divots deeper than 10 mm needing repair should be filled with a sand and cement mix. If your pool is rendered or plastered or if you own a marble sheen pool, check first for drumminess. If you do have drumminess or large cracks, contact Colourmaker Industries for further advice. Small cracks need to be opened up into a V to the base of the crack using an angle grinder with a masonry cutting disc. Assess the area to be repaired and mix sufficient Luxapool structural epoxy filler part A and B in equal volumes until you have a uniform colour. Only mix an amount that can be used within 30 to 40 minutes. Hairline cracks do not need to be filled with Luxapool structural epoxy filler as Luxapool epoxy swimming pool paint will bridge cracks less than 1mm wide. Fill the hole flush with Luxapool structural epoxy filler. Small cracks in marble sheen and pebble creep pools can also be filled in this manner with Luxapool structural epoxy filler. Allow to cure overnight and then sand back flush with a coarse 20 to 40 grit sandpaper. This video is part of a series of videos that guide you through the steps to prepare and paint your pool with Luxapool swimming pool paint. In this video we will show you how to abrade an epoxy painted pool prior to painting with Luxapool epoxy pool paint. Abrading the pool surface creates a mechanical key for optimum adhesion of the pool paint. Before you begin, ensure that the pool surface has been cleaned with Luxapool concentrated wash to remove body fats and oils. To know more, watch the video titled How to Wash with Luxapool concentrated wash. Also ensure that any surface imperfections such as cracks and divots have been repaired. This is shown in the video titled, Repair with Luxapool Structural Epoxy Filler. To abrade the pool surface, you will need 20 to 40 grit sanding discs and an orbital sander or angle grinder. Wear safety glasses, a dust mask and hearing protection, such as earmuffs or earplugs while abrading the pool surface. And of course, sunscreen and a hat if you're out in the sun. Abrade all of the existing epoxy pool surface with 20 to 40 grit sanding discs using an orbital sander or an angle grinder with a zec disc. The surface needs to look dull and feel rough. Check for glossy patches missed during abrasion. These will result in delamination of the new epoxy coating if they are not dealt with properly. Go back and abrade any missed patches. 
Remove all of the sanding residues with a dust pan and broom or by vacuuming. Take care to remove dust as dust residues really compromise adhesion of the paint leading to flaking or peeling. Then rinse the pool thoroughly with water and remove the last traces of fine dust. Drain pooled water and allow all of the pool to dry thoroughly. This video is part of a series of videos that guide you through the steps to prepare and paint your pool with Luxapool epoxy pool paint. In this video, we will show you how to acid etch the surface of your pool before applying new coats of Luxapool epoxy pool paint. Acid etching is applied to new and old cement render, marble sheen and pebble creek pools previously painted with an epoxy pool coating. Acid etching is important for both painted and masonry pool surfaces. In the case of painted surfaces, the etching is designed to remove calcite deposits that form on the surface as a result of the calcium hardness chemicals typically added to pools. In the case of masonry surfaces, acid etching opens up the surface so that it is more receptive to and will yield a better bond with subsequent coats of pool paint. Before you begin, ensure the pool surface has been washed with Luxapool concentrated wash. If you are acid etching a pool surface that has been previously painted with an epoxy, it needs to be abraded before acid etching. You will need commercial hydrochloric or muriatic acid which can be purchased at your local hardware or pool shop. An average size pool needs around 30 to 35 litres of acid. You will also need bicarbonate of soda, about 4 to 6 kilos for an average size pool, and two plastic buckets. Some underwater putty, and lastly you will need a high pressure water blaster. Using a high pressure water blaster, remove loose or flaking paint. Drain any pooled water. All persons participating in acid etching must wear protective clothing, rubber gloves, mask, boots and goggles. To avoid any risk of damage to the pool surrounds, prepare the acid solution inside the pool. You will need to make up different dilutions of acid depending on the type of pool surface you are painting. This table shows the various amounts of acid to water for each type of pool surface. For new cement render, mix one part acid in two parts water. For old cement render or pebble crete, mix one part acid in three parts water. For marble sheen, sound and hard, surfaces use undiluted acid. For marble sheen, sound and soft, mix one part acid in one part water. A typical pool will need around 30 to 35 litres of pool acid, so make sure you are well stocked before you start. Add either commercial hydrochloric or muriatic acid to the plastic bucket containing water. The etching solution should always be made up in a plastic bucket. Never add water to acid. Always add acid to water. For this pool, which has been previously painted with an epoxy pool paint, a one part acid in two parts water solution was prepared. Do not overfill the watering can with acid solution. Using the plastic watering can, apply about two thirds of the etching solution over the walls of the pool. As soon as the bubbling reaction stops, approximately five minutes, flush the pool walls with fresh water. Never allow the acid residue to dry on the surface, as acid residue can cause the paint coating to fail. Repeat this process for the floor of the pool. Using the remaining third of the acid solution, pour over the floor of the pool.
As soon as the bubbling has stopped, rinse with water and drain the pulled water. Pump out the accumulated wash. Never pump residues into stormwater drains. It's also worthwhile to let the hose run while performing this wash to dilute the concentration of acid being pumped out and to have ready access to water in case of spills of concentrated material that need to be hosed off in a hurry. Rinse all equipment thoroughly with water including the nylon broom, watering can and buckets from inside the pool. The purpose of the bicarbonate of soda wash is to neutralise the effects of any acid residues that may have been left on the surface. A typical pool will need around 4 to 6 kilos of bicarbonate of soda. Make sure you are well stocked before you start. Failure to neutralise the acid residue will result in reactions with the paint that compromise adhesion and lead to peeling. Dissolve 1 kilo of bicarbonate of soda into 10 litres of warm water. This will neutralise between 80 to 100 metres squared. Apply the bicarbonate solution a small area at a time and scrub with a nylon or bristle broom. Never allow the bicarbonate residue to dry on the surface. If conditions are hot and dry, it's better to work in small areas and rinse. Rinse thoroughly with fresh water. Working in small sections will ensure that no bicarbonate of soda is deposited on the surface. Pump out accumulated water into the sewer. Never pump residues into the stormwater drains. It's also worthwhile to let the hose run while performing this wash to dilute the concentration of bicarbonate being pumped out and to have ready access to water in case of spills of concentrated material that need to be hosed off in a hurry. Inspect the pool surface for divots and fill flush with underwater putty. Allow the pool surface to dry thoroughly before any further surface preparation. This pool does not need priming with Luxapool Epoxy Primer Sealer as there are only minor patches of exposed cement. Any exposed areas of cement render, marble sheen or pebblecrete should be primed with Luxapool Epoxy Primer Sealer to seal the surface for best adhesion. Refer to the Luxapool application guide available on our website for instructions on how to apply Luxapool epoxy primer sealer or contact Colormaker Industries for further advice. This pool surface is ready for coating with Luxapool epoxy swimming pool paint. This video is the final part of a series of videos that guide you through the steps to prepare and paint your pool with Luxapool epoxy pool paint. Before you begin, ensure that the pool has been washed with Luxapool concentrated wash abraded, acid etched and is clean and dry. Ensure that the shell temperature is above 10 degrees Celsius. If painting in summer, check that the air temperature during painting and curing, three to six hours after application, will not rise above 30 degrees Celsius. If painting in winter, check that the air temperature during painting and curing, three to six hours after application, will not fall below 10 degrees Celsius. If the paint is applied outside this temperature range, then damage to the coating's performance can result. The incidence of rain during painting may cause paint failure. In an unexpected event of rain or heavy dew, contact Colormaker Industries for advice. We generally recommend painting between 8am and 11am to optimise the conditions for paint curing. In midsummer, paint as early as possible in the day and ideally protect the coating from direct sunlight by use of a shade cloth. This is particularly important in the first three to six hours of cure. 
If the pool has been primed with Luxapool Epoxy Primer Sealer, ensure that it was applied within the last 24 hours. Work out how much paint you need. One 3.5 litre pack of Luxapool Epoxy Pool Coating will cover approximately 20 to 25 metre squared per coat. A typical domestic pool will need 8 to 10 kits. If unsure, contact Colormaker Industries or consult our online pool calculator at luxapool.com.au. It is important not to add any substances to Luxapool epoxy pool coating as any addition will result in loss of optimum performance. When purchasing the paint, check that the batch numbers on all Part A cans are identical to ensure colour uniformity. Batch numbers can be found on the barcode label on the front of every Part A can. Use Luxapool epoxy Part B winter hardener when the temperature will be between 10 and 18 degrees Celsius. Use Luxapool Epoxy Part B Summer Hardener when the temperature will be between 18 and 30 degrees Celsius. Also check that all Part B cans are either all summer or all winter cure. In very hot or very cold climates, it is good practice to keep paint inside overnight before use. Keep both parts of the paint cool before and during use, as excess heat will reduce the workable pot life. In very cold climate, ensure that both Part A and Part B are above 15 degrees Celsius before mixing. You will also need a metal stirring stick, roller, brush and roller tray, masking tape, a vacuum cleaner, protective clothing including mask, safety glasses, covered shoes and solvent resistant gloves. And always read the instructions on the can. Vacuum the pool to remove fine dust and debris to ensure optimum paint adhesion. Mask off areas as appropriate. Mix the Luxapool epoxy pool coating by adding the Part B hardener to Part A base. then lie Part B can on its side, or place Part B can over a screwdriver as shown to allow residual hardener to drain. This is best done from inside the pool so that spills are easily dealt with. Stir thoroughly with a clean flat metal stirrer. 300 times around by hand is a good guide. Using the metal stirrer, scrape the side of the can while mixing. After stirring 300 times, pour the remaining Part B contents to Part A and remix. Mix only one pack, parts A and B at a time. Insufficient mixing will result in the paint not curing effectively. Paint that is not properly mixed will still be wet and tacky after four to six hours of application and indicates insufficient mixing. Allow to stand for 5 to 10 minutes induction time, then remix. If the abrading and acid etching process exposes patchy areas of cement as demonstrated by this pool, 125ml of Luxapool Solvent A can be added to the epoxy paint mix to facilitate better penetration of the first coat into the patchy surface. Pour the epoxy paint mix into a roller tray and use immediately. Apply within one hour from the start of mixing. Cut in and roll one section at a time. Do not attempt to cut in the entire pool from the first can. We generally recommend working from the deep end to the shallow end. If you're working in pairs, one painter can cut in while the other painter fills in with the roller.
apply a generous coat of Luxapool epoxy pool coating. Monitor your paint usage and begin mixing up the next Luxapool epoxy paint mix once you have almost used up the previous mix. Follow the directions on the can for disposal and cleanup of brushes and rollers. Allow a minimum of 20 and not more than 24 hours for curing before applying the second coat. If more than 24 hours has elapsed, contact Colormaker Industries for advice. Check that the surface is dry before recoating. A minimum of two coats of Luxapool epoxy pool paint are needed to achieve appropriate film thickness. Do not thin the epoxy paint mix with Luxapool Solvent A for the second coat of paint. Obtaining an optimum thickness is critical to long term durability of the finished coating. With appropriate pool care, two coats of Luxapool epoxy pool paint is likely to last 8 to 10 years and three coats is likely to last 12 to 15 years. Follow the directions on the can for the disposal and clean up of brushes and rollers. Allow the coating to dry at least 7 days in summer and 14 days in winter prior to filling the pool. If a coating has not had adequate drying time and is filled prematurely, its colour will be damaged. This will be seen as cloudy, uneven colour distribution on the last coat. Do not add chemicals other than salt or chlorine for at least 3 to 5 days. When it is time to add pool chemicals, add in dissolved slurry form. Refer to our website for further information on pool care. To maintain the new coating and to enjoy a long wearing life, regularly check the pool chemistry so the alkalinity levels are kept close to pH 7.6 and do not fluctuate outside the range of pH 7.4 to 7.8. Read our general guidelines for pool care available on our website. Jump in and enjoy your beautifully resurfaced pool.